Uh, thank you, Mark, and thank you, Mark, for all your efforts along with Lisa Bedoya and uh, Christine Trost in making this conference possible. Uh, my name is Mark Said, is Jack Citrin. I'm the director of the Institute of Governmental Studies on campus. And this conference, uh, Cuba and California Prospects for Change and Opportunity, has a stellar roster of keynote speakers, truly knowledgeable about Cuba and about the issues in Cuba-American relations. And so we will learn a lot today uh, from them. And many have traveled long distances to be here. And so we're very grateful to you for coming here and for uh, uh, showing up at 9 a.m. in the morning. Uh, this conference is a collaborative effort, actually, by four campus units. IGS, Institute of Governmental Studies, the Institute for the Study of Social Issues, the Center for Latino Policy Research, directed by Lisa Bedoya, and the Center for Latin American Studies. So it's been very interesting and, I think, uh, instructive that we different units have been able to cooperate so well in putting this together. Also want to acknowledge uh, and thank three outside sponsors who have helped finance the uh, program, the Ford Foundation, Institute of International Education, and a very special thanks to Darius Anderson of Platinum Advisors and his staff, Marisol Lopez, who have worked really hard to uh, help us bring speakers here and who are part of the program this afternoon. Mark has already mentioned the difficulties of getting visas for Cuban visitors. Um, uh, Professor Carlos Trejo is going to appear and we're going to reorganize the program so that he will be allowed to make extended remarks once he gets here and gets over a little bit of the jet lag. Um, so that's pretty much what I have to say. But now I want to have the privilege and the honor to introduce my colleague, George Breslauer, UC Berkeley's Executive Vice Chancellor and Provost, and a colleague for many years in political science department. And George will formally inaugurate this event and introduce our first keynote speaker, Congresswoman Barbara Lee. George Breslauer, as I said, is the Executive Vice Chancellor and Provost of UC Berkeley. He received his BA, MA, and PhD degrees in political science from the University of Michigan. In 1971, he joined the faculty of the Department of Political Science at Berkeley as a specialist on Soviet politics and foreign relations. George served as chair. Um, he was appointed chancellor's professor, a very prestigious academic position. He chaired the Department of Political Science. He was the Dean of Social Sciences and now has this appointment as the Chief Academic Officer of our campus. Uh, he has maintained a prodigious <coughs> scholarly career as the author and editor of 12 books on Soviet and Russian politics and for foreign relations. Most recently, Gorbachev and Yeltsin as leaders, published by Cambridge University Press. So he has wide experience in some of the issues that will be raised here today. Can't think of a better person to inaugurate this conference. George, thank you. Thank you, Jack, uh, for your very kind introduction. Uh, it's, it's my great pleasure to uh, welcome you here on behalf of the Chancellor and the campus to this important conference. I see that uh, California State Senator Lonnie Hancock is here with us today and Mayor Berkeley Mayor Tom Bates is here as well. Uh, we're delighted that you could make it. Thank you. Uh, this is, as I said, an important conference and it uh, includes many important people. And I have the privilege of introducing uh, one of those people, the first keynote speaker, uh, though I do want from a logistical standpoint to make sure that I'm introducing someone who has arrived. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Congresswoman Barbara Lee 
is a forceful and progressive voice in Congress dedicated to social and economic justice, international peace, and civil and human rights. She was first elected to represent California's 9th Congressional District in 1998, and since then has aggressively represented the needs of the underserved and vulnerable people in her district and throughout the United States. In 2007, Congresswoman Lee joined with members of the Congressional Black Caucus, John Conyers of Michigan and G.K. Butterfield of North Carolina, with Representative Mike Honda of the Congressional Asian Pacific American uh, Caucus, and Representative Joe Baca of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, to form the Congressional Out of Poverty Caucus, which seeks to eliminate poverty in the United States. She is also a leader in the bipartisan effort in Congress to end the ongoing genocide in Darfur, Sudan, and she was an outspoken opponent of the Iraq War from the very beginning when that was a very lonely voice in American political discourse. So she has the courage of her convictions. Her awards and accomplishments are many, including authoring or co-authoring every major piece of legislation dealing with global HIV AIDS issues since she was elected to Congress and winning passage of her Emergency Unemployment Compensation Act in 2011. She's a remarkable individual, a remarkable representative of this district, and very well educated, having studied at Mills College and UC Berkeley. <laughs> Congresswoman Lee. <laughs> 